Hey there, Kayla Williams. This is Bryston from KWU, and today we'll be learning how to create and configure a social ad campaign. So first, let's get logged in to agent.kw.com with your Kayla Williams login credentials. Once you're logged in, click the campaigns icon on the left sidebar. All right, so in order to run a paid social ad campaign, you'll need to have an active credit card or debit card on file in your payment profile. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have a card on file. To do so, click Payments at the top of the screen. And as you can see, we do not have a card on file yet. So to add a card, you can go ahead and click Add Payment Method here. And once you're done, you can proceed with running your campaign. Now that you have a card on file, you can get started by clicking Create a New Campaign. Then you will select the campaign type, which in this case will be Social Ad. In this form, you will name your campaign, set your campaign goal, and select where you would like the campaign to run. Being as though your campaign name won't be visible to anyone but yourself, you can pretty much type in whatever you'd like. Next, you will select the goal for your campaign, and you have a few options to choose from. You can either advertise a single listing or multiple listings, attract sellers or attract buyers, build brand awareness, or build event awareness like for an upcoming open house, recruit talent, or any other goal you might have. So for this example, we'll select Advertise Listing. Next, you will select where you would like the campaign to run. Your options are Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And please make sure that you've connected your social media accounts and your command settings before running a campaign. So we'll go ahead and select Facebook and Twitter. Once this form is complete, click Set Up Campaign in the bottom right-hand corner of the form. Once you finish the Set Up Campaign form, you'll notice that a listing panel will automatically appear on the next screen. If your goal isn't to advertise any listings, you can click the X icon right here to move on. If your goal is to advertise listings, then you'll notice that you may have some listings appear right before you. If that isn't the case, you can click the drop down arrow next to show and select all listings. And from here, you can search and select the listing you wish to advertise. Being as though the KWLS is connected to the campaign's applet, your listing photos as well as a listing description will automatically pull in. I'd also like to mention that if you needed to change your listing for whatever reason, you can click this change listing button right here and that listing panel will reappear for you. Now you can move on and complete the ad text section of your campaign. The ad text is made up of the main copy, headline, and description. And due to the KWLS and campaign's connection, it looks like a description has already been pulled in for us but you can definitely add or remove any information that you'd like. Just be sure to pay attention to the character limit as you're completing this section. Next, you will enter in the headline for your campaign. Once that is complete, you will move on to your description. Now you can either type in your own description or you can use a pre-generated description and you can also view the different options by clicking shuffle. Once you're satisfied with your generated description, you can click use suggestion. And you can still add to the description as well. Just be sure to pay attention to the character limit in the bottom right hand corner. Once the section is complete, you'll click save ad text. Next, you will be completing the ad media section of your campaign. And to get started, click configure. In this section, you're able to upload multiple images or a video. And with Facebook, you're able to upload up to six images at a time for a single campaign. Whereas with Twitter, you're only able to upload one. And as you can see, due to the campaign's connection with the KWLS, we have a listing image that is already pulled in, but you can definitely add some more images if you'd like. To do so, click Add More, select the image, click Preview and Crop Image. Here's where you can adjust your cropping parameter. You also have some options up here as well, and some additional tools in the top left-hand corner. Once your image is set, click Save Image. I'd also like to point out the Twitter icon that's on this image. That icon symbolizes that that particular image is going to be used for the Twitter ad. And if you wanted to change that image, you can hover over a different picture, click these three dots, and click Select for Twitter. Also, if you're wanting to change the order of your photos for your Facebook ad, you can hover over one of your images, click and hold these six dots to the left of it, and drag and drop it in the desired position. Underneath the photos that you've selected, you will find your DBA logo, which is pulled in from your marketing profile. 
All social posts and ads that use photos will have a DBA logo added automatically. If you wanted to use a different DBA logo, you can click this X icon to remove it and upload a new logo from your computer. You can also click this link right here and you will be directed to the DBA logo page on kwconnect.com where you can then search and download your Market Center's DBA logo. And right beneath your DBA logo is where you can change your DBA logo position. You have two options right here. You also have the option to include your ownership statement. To do so, click this checkbox right here and you'll enter in your ownership statement in this field before clicking apply. If you are wanting to upload a video, you'll need to select this option, click select media for this campaign. You can either upload a neighborhood video that you've created, a video from your designs, a video from your computer, or you can copy and paste a linked video as well. If you are wanting to use your own video, we recommend uploading it as opposed to submitting a link as Facebook is a little bit picky about the types of links that they allow. Once you finish this section, be sure to save your progress by clicking Save Add Media. Once you've completed the Add Media section, you can move on to configuring your channel options. So we'll go ahead and start with configuring Facebook first. From here, you will select the Facebook business page this ad will be posted on. After that, you will set the destination for people viewing your ad. For Facebook ads, we recommend using the Facebook lead generation form, so we'll just go ahead and leave this option as is. Next, you will select the button call to action label. You can make a selection from the options available. From here, you will move on to entering in your follow-up destination URL. Now, you're more than welcome to enter in your own web address. Just be sure to use the entire URL, including the HTTPS at the very beginning of the web address. Or, you can click choose site, and select one of these site pages from this drop-down. After you have decided what your destination is going to be, you can move on to add targeting. Now by default, your audience is set automatically, but you can also customize the audience and set your own values. To do so, click the use custom settings toggle right here. You can either target your database, target a custom audience, or target both. If you are wanting to target your database, Click the checkbox beside the option. Then you will select your audience from the drop down. If you don't have an audience created, you'll click create new audience. Enter in the name of your audience. Select whether to target by tags or target by neighborhoods. Then make those selections from the drop down right here. And click create once you're done. Once your audience is created, you can make that selection from the drop down. And as you can see, Command is letting me know that based on Facebook's guidelines, this campaign might not get delivered correctly because the audience size is too small. So if I wanted to continue with targeting my database, I'll need to increase my audience size. So just keep that in mind as you're creating your campaign. If you choose to just target a custom audience, you can select your location from here. And you can set your radius by clicking the minus or plus signs. You also have the option to use expert targeting. This will either increase or refine your audience depending on which interests you select to target. To do so, click Add or Change Interests. Once you've located your interest, you can hover over it to see the audience size, then click the checkbox. You also have the option to select OR or AND when selecting interests to target. If you were to select AND, it would only target people who have all of the selected interests. If you select OR, that would target people who may have some of those selected interests, but not necessarily all of them. Once your interests have been selected, click Save Selection. And if you needed to remove an interest at any time, you can click this X icon right here. For the Add Content portion of this section, that information has been automatically populated based on the listing, text, and media that you've selected above. But if you want to customize your ad content for Facebook, this is your opportunity. To do so, Click the Use Custom Content toggle and complete all of the fields. If you prefer to use the same content that is already populated, then you can skip this portion and move on. Once this section is complete, click Save Facebook Ad to save your progress. Now we'll move on to configuring the Twitter ad portion of our channel options. Go ahead and click Configure. 
you'll notice that this Twitter section is very similar to the Facebook section with a few differences here and there. As you can see, your Twitter profile has already been selected, but you can connect to a new account if you'd like. Just click connect a new account right here. And as for the destination URL, just like with Facebook, you're more than welcome to enter in your own web address. Just be sure to include the entire URL, including the HTTPS at the very beginning of the URL. Or you can click choose site and select the site page that you've already created. With Twitter, you can select a campaign optimization, which is a little different from Facebook. So we'll go ahead and review the two options real quick. You can select website clicks or conversions. This will maximize your ad viewers taking an action on your website. For example, they can view an infographic about neighborhood stats or a house tour. Or you can select optimize for awareness, which will increase brand awareness by getting as many people to see your tweet as possible. By doing this, your ad viewers are more likely to follow you, retweet you, or visit your website. Next, we will move on to ad targeting. Now, very similar to Facebook, your audience is set automatically but you can customize the audience and set your own values by clicking the Use Custom Settings toggle. Now you can either target your database, target a custom audience, or target both. Just like with Facebook, if you select Target My Database, you'll have to select an audience or create an audience. You can also target a custom audience as well, but with Twitter, you can actually target by gender or by age. And just like Facebook, you have the option to use expert targeting by adding languages, keywords, or interests, which will either increase or refine your audience depending on which you select. For the ad content portion of this section, this information has been automatically populated based on the listing, text, and media that you selected above, just like Facebook. Now, if you want to customize your content for Twitter, you can do so by clicking the Use Custom Content toggle and filling out all of the required fields. Or if you prefer to keep your ad content the same, you can skip this portion and move on. Once this section is complete, be sure to click Save Twitter Ad to save your progress. The last section you will fill out will be Duration and Budget. To do so, click the drop down arrow right here. Here is where you will set how long the campaign will last and also the total campaign budget. So you'll go ahead and click the calendar icon. Select the date you want it to start. Select the date it will end. Once you're done setting the duration of the campaign, you can set the budget. To do so, you can either click the minus sign or the plus sign to either increase or decrease the total amount spent during the campaign. And you'll notice as you click the plus sign or negative sign, the money spent per day per channel will change as well. Once this is set, click save duration and budget to save your progress. Here is where you can view a preview of your ad. And you can click this drop down right here to view it across all channels. Once everything is set, you can either click publish campaign and the campaign will start on the date that you've selected. Or you can click save as draft and you can publish the campaign later. And once your ad has been published, you can keep track of your campaign metrics on the same screen. For more resources, click the question mark in the top right hand corner of your screen. Click Keller Williams University. And use the search. Want to learn more about the industry's most powerful real estate platform? Click one of these videos.